people. Welcome to Kim's Crafts. My name's Kim. I'm sorry. I just woke up. If you can't tell. <laughs> Not just woke up. I walked the dog and everything, but I'm still getting my first sips of coffee in. So excuse me. If you're new here, welcome. Hello. Thank you for stopping in. And if you're returning, hi guys. Um, I appreciate all of you for checking out my channel. I'm over 400. Like, what? Shut the front door. But I appreciate all of you. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Obviously, I love diamond painting. So um, this has been a lot of fun doing. Um, so I am... I'm going to open and hopefully kit up. I think I have enough containers in here. I don't know. Um, this Harry Potter. So let's real quick. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, a friend at work actually brought this in for me as a gift, completely unexpected. A just, um, I saw this and I thought you would like it kind of gift and caught me completely off guard and I was so appreciative and she's so cute and I love her and I don't want to hold on to this for months and months and months and not do it. I really would like to do it and you know be able to show her videos of it and stuff so I want I wanted to get working on this even if you know I do have those two big projects but I don't have a round whip going at the moment you know I have the mystery project which is a square and then I have my Josephine wall which is also a square and so I just thought you know maybe this will work up quickly I don't know but um I could just dedicate a little time each week to doing this it's not an event I was planning on doing this for the Harry Potter event but it is not a diamond art club this is a diamond dots even though I don't see where it says that. Oh, here, diamond dots. So one thing I will say that I don't like about diamond dots is I can't for the life of me find out how many colors are in a kit, which is just like, why? Why, why, why is that? <clears throat> Does that not seem important? I don't understand. But let's look at the box, okay? Because I the very first, very, very first um, diamond painting I did was a diamond dot. So it was a solar system. And I was not recording videos at the time, obviously. It, it was just to see if I liked it. And, uh, and I have not had a diamond dot. I don't even own another diamond dot. This is my only other diamond dots. So um, this is obviously a special box because it says Harry Potter. This is what the painting will be. And I don't know if this means, I think that majority, if not all diamond dots are circles, rounds, I'm not sure. Um, but the size of the painting is a 52 by 72. And I do know that their drills are phenomenal. That I know, I remember that from my first one that their round drills were really good. So in the back, it it's, has a little bit of how it works. Um, and then the kit contents, it says one high quality color printed fabric. And then back here, it says the fabric size is 60 by 80. So I guess the actual drill field is 52 by 72, I'm guessing. Um, and then one diamond dot stylist or pen, crafting tray, one wax caddy, a comfort grip. Um, and it tells you how many, like how much weight wise, 7.7 .7 ounces of pre-sorted by shade diamond dots and then instructions. But it doesn't tell you how many colors, which I don't know. I would recommend them add that. Like I literally Googled and was trying to find in reviews, anything. I could not figure out how many colors were in this kit. And it's like, if you're trying to plan storage, kind of important. So I pulled out, I've never used this. This is a Harbor Freights. 
I actually pass a Harbor Freight every day to and home from work. Ooh. And uh, I picked one of these up and I've never used it. I've had this from, for a few months now because I know it's like a lot of people's favorites. And at first I didn't think I'd like it, but I'm really into the containers that you can open up and like pull a drill or two out in. So I'm thinking I might really like these little guys. I think I have them in backwards though. Maybe not for the stickers, depending on what the stickers look like. How do you guys use yours? If you use Harbor Freight containers, do you have the back side or the front side? Do you have the clasp showing or the hinges? Will they fit in like this? They do. I don't know. I guess it depends on how big the sticker is. Because honestly, like I feel like it should be in the front, but the clasp might just be a little too big. Okay, but we'll get to that because who knows? I might not even be able to use this. I do have an Elizabeth Ward that's free and open to use. So let's get into the box. What's in the box? Seven. You know, I'm always cool. <laughs> I can't help myself. You know, the movie Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. What's in the box? Uh, what's in this? Um, The drills and the painting so that's all that's in the box so this is in a dust cover add some sparkle to your world I guess that's their logo all right I don't remember anything about the solar system except that that's when my obsession started. And this is not soft. It feels like, um, like almost like a lunch bag material. Like almost like plasticky, like it feels like it would be waterproof to be honest, like, like an umbrella or something. It feels, you know, pretty, pretty thick. It's scalloped with some poked holes. So this is a poured glue. I think all of Diamond Dots are a poured glue. So we'll go ahead and roll it backwards just to get it, I think it'll, it's, and it, there's no, I don't think there's a foam holder or anything in the middle, but it is wound tight. I don't know how I did that. I'm having a hard time. Oh, there's some things there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this while we look at this. This. Okay, so this is instructions, and it looks like it's in a lot of different. It's instructions that is in a lot of different languages. We got English, French, I think Espanol. Oh no, is that Dutch? D, -E. Italian. Uh, Russian, Arabian. Okay, so that's what that is. All right, let's let's look at it. 
Oh, and so if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I talked about doing the Potter More quiz, and I actually am in the house of Slytherin, and I was a little upset about it. Because, like, yeah. But I'm embracing it. I'm embracing it. And guess who else is in Slytherin? My daughter. So we're, like, we're, like, Slytherin pals. So that made it a lot easier. Okay, so it's a little dirty up here. I get, I'm not really sure. It feels a little rough. Like, I don't know what happened there. So, I don't know if you can see that. But otherwise... Okay, and it is a partial. So... That I was not aware of. That's another thing that I think should be plainly listed on the box. Partial, full drill, like every other company does it. Come on. Like people need to know what they're buying, you know? I mean, I didn't buy this, but still. Like, okay, so we got this stained glass and this stained glass is not drill field. His hand, face, hand, and then courage, determination, and bravery. None of those are drill fields. Okay. We have Harry Potter, um, copyright, Warner Brothers, blah, blah, blah. So it shows you here the diamond area. Oh, you know what? I guess it does. I guess it does. So this is what this means. So if you're looking at diamond dots, that means that those areas are not drill field. Diamond area, okay. Why Why is it so hard to put partial diamond? I, I don't understand, okay. So, so you know, if you're looking at another diamond dots box, it will say in that little circle exactly what you're not going to be drilling. Okay, um, and then design size, and then fabric size. So that's what that meant. The, there was two different, two different measurements, and that's why. So it says the diamond area is fifty-two. It is fifty-two, and then the fabric size is. 58, it says it's 60, but it's definitely not 60, 58 and a half. And then this way, seventy-one design area. So it's supposed to be seventy-two. Seventy-one and a half, and then the fabric. 57 and a half, or 70, 77 and a half. So, I mean, it's off by a centimeter here or there. Okay, and then we have the schematics. So yes, there's only 10, and there are no special drills or AB, Aurora Borealis with the special coating. They are all normal drills. Um, the symbols are symbols. We got like a circle. an X, an H, an upside down V, a plus, a minus, an equal, a T, a slash, and then a dot. And there's no training wheels. So you can see the drill field. It's, a, it's all color blocking. There's like no confetti in here. It is all color blocking. Here's the sticky. This feels felty, which is kind of cool. Very cute. So they have the schematic on each side. It says Camelot dots, diamond dots. All right, so that's the canvas. This is gonna work up super quick.
I think I still need to even put it in my Gems Flow app. Oh, so they don't give you any kind of stickers. No stickers. No stickers, no legend. But it's not a big deal because these are super easy to draw. Like super easy to draw. So, which stickers are we gonna use? Um, I have these tiny ones. Perfect. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use it on the front. So I'm gonna use it on the clasp side. And I guess I need to turn this back around because I don't have a legend to make sure I have them all. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. So I'll just push it up here so we can see this and then we can still see the away from the busyness. Okay, so we have, they come in a train style. We have two trains. And wait a minute. These are ABs. Am I seeing this right? Yeah, these are ABs. All right, so they are 5001. But there's no indication here that it's an, an, an AB or an Aurora Borealis drill. But you see how it has like the multicolor facets. So there's certainly AB drills, but it doesn't tell you that. Okay. All right. So let's go in order. We have A01, which is 8001. And again, they don't do DMC numbers. That's another thing. Oh, you know what? I actually have a list, a conversion list for them. I printed up this conversion list. So 8001 is, is actually, you can see 310 black. So we have four bags of 310s. And then their next one is 80, or, um, 8014. So 8014 is 349 bright red. So we have two bags of that. And then three is eight, four, four, seven. Oh. Well, we can go in, we can do this. We can do this. Eight, four, four, seven. Eight, two, eight, three, aha. Eight, four, four, seven. Is that what I remember? Yeah, it's called, it's 413 Blue Gum. Interesting, interesting. We have one bag of that, and then we have two bags of 8023. 8023, which is 498 Burgundy. And then we have two bags of 8326. which is 745 baby, ye baby yellow. And then we have 8440, which is 762 pale dove, one bag. And then two bags of 8157, which is 823 midnight blue. And then 8019, two bags of those, which is um, 3801 Flamingo. Am I on there? 3801 Flamingo, two bags of those. And then two bags of 8315, which is... 3820 Harvest Gold, and then one bag of 5001 
which we know is white, which if you're comparing this to Diamond Art Club would be their 141 because that's actually, this is actually the AB of white. Okay, so those are our colors. Yeah, so I'm going to kit this up. I'm going to, first of all, So how many bags do I have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So I can put one in, in each box if it fits. I don't know about those, these. Let me get, let me get my baby scissors. Cause if you haven't guessed already, yes, today's a work day. So, see, this is going to be so easy. So, 8001 is, a, is just a circle. Oh. So this is how I'm going to label them. Let's see if they have a lot of static in them. Wow. No, but do you see all the red ones that fell in there? There was a lot of mixed red in there. You couldn't even tell until I got it in the box. So yeah, one bag will fit in here. I should have, I, I feel like, everyone doing today it is gorgeous outside I have the windows open and it's like the perfect spring early summer day where it's warm out the sun is shining but you have a breeze it's not humid um, I love these days because I love to open up all of my uh, windows when I can And uh, right now I just have just a couple because I just woke up and I started this. But when I shut the camera off, I'm going to open this whole house up. And Bob worked last night, so I'm, that's why I'm talking a little, little quiet. And then he, he has to work again tonight. And then he... Also does home inspections on the side. And so he actually has an inspection during the day. So he is a busy, busy bee and I'm trying not to be noisy or wake him up. But yeah, we work a lot, the two of us. Hopefully it'll pay off and we can have some kind of retirement. <laughs> But he already started his, he was so excited about having a mystery canvas because he's been like kind of not, he has been not diamond painting at all, really. Just working a lot and then relaxing, um, re-watching all of his superhero movies <laughs> and golf. And um, so when this showed up, he, he actually is excited. And I can tell you that there's a lot of static in these in their the, the drills that he had for prism diamond painting. A lot of static. <clears throat> All right, so this one's an X. Oops, oh got it flipped. Yeah, 
So I had to help because he didn't know what to do with it. And he was like, I would not buy another kit because of this. And I was like, this is something that happens. Relax. So I fixed it with all of my tricks. But so far, he, he's one of those peel the corner up and go. I, I am, I, that like hurts my soul. <laughs> if you're peel the cold corner up and go, I'm sorry. It, I need to be very systematic about it. So like I need to be going in rows or blocks or, and um, the corner he chose is like basically all black. So it hasn't been pretty interesting at all yet. I hope he hits some other colors to, so that he doesn't get bored. Man, my voice. I am, I was so tired this morning. I like just wanted to keep sleeping and I still sound tired. Ooh. So three is an H. So this is how I kit up if I don't have stickers. I literally just write the symbol. That's all I look at on those stickers. I don't look at the MC colors. I don't look at like what number it is. I just look at symbols. I don't. I actually don't use the legends at all. It's just, to me, the easiest way to do it. So, O4 is that upside down V. You guys ever have a dream where you're like crying in the dream and you start crying in real life. <laughs> I had one of those the other day. Bob had to wake me up. I was having a nightmare that we had like a roach infestation in our house. <laughs> and I was trying to tell, I was like trying to wake him up and tell him in my dream that we had roaches and I was crying so hard I couldn't I couldn't even get it out. I'm like, <laughs> and so I was doing that in real life, <laughs> sleep, like taking a nap on the couch next to him. And he had to wake me up. And he's like, Kimba, Kimba. And I like wake up and I look at him. And I'm like, he had roaches. <laughs> he started laughing so hard. You know, when you laugh and you like, you're laughing so hard, you're, you're not even making any sound. Yeah, he was doing that. He was laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But it was pretty upsetting to me. <laughs> that was weird. I dream super vividly. Um... I've always dreamt, like had very vivid dreams and very detailed dreams. And I could even, like if I'm sleeping and I wake up, but I like the dream, I could fall back to sleep and fall back into that dream. When I took psychology in college, the professor asked if anyone in the class could do that and I I raised my hand and one other girl raised her hand and he was just so fascinated I don't know he said only X amount of people can do that I don't remember I mean I was you know I didn't think it was unique because it's just something that I was always able to do and I remember um, as a little girl I slept a lot and Every time I would wake up, I'd tell my dad my dreams. And he looked at me and he was like, 
you sleep just a dream, don't you? <laughs> and he was right. Like, I would actually sleep longer just so I could dream. I keep dreaming. And, uh, I will tell you, though, I have taken melatonin, and they do make my dreams, like, even freakier. Not more vivid, because they're always very vivid, but just, like, weirder. And, um, I used to have this recurrent dream about, this is so weird, um, a shark um, chasing me and then coming on land and chasing me. And I'm like running through buildings and like pushing through doors and he's like chasing me on land. I hear Bob, he's, he's awake. This is like such a, an easy kit up. If you guys don't have stickers that come with the kit, what do you normally do? Do you do what I'm doing? Um, or do you like print this on a printer and then um, make stickers out of it? Labels. I, I'm like really liking these boxes right now. Eight. And the fact that these symbols are so easy to draw. Bob, he's going to be coming out of the room any minute. Um, to get ready for his inspection. Ooh. I think I picked this up at Harbor Freights for like seven and change or eight dollars and change or something like that but the they had two of them and the one the case was broken and in the other one these were all dirty good morning good morning how do you feel Do you need to eat? Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's probably half an hour. Good. Say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what I was talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I picked these up from Harbor Freights, the one, the one case was broken, and then in the other one, these containers were dirty. Like someone had, it looked like someone bought it, like pawed them all, left their handprints on it, and then put it back. So I took the unbroken case and I swapped them out for the clean one of these, and I bought one kit. And this was like months ago. And I just had it sitting here. It's like most of my kits are over 50 colors, let alone 24. So this is cool that I get to use this. Like that. Done.
So, I'll kit it up. I will show you guys when I'm done. This shouldn't take long. I'm sure you'll be seeing this soon. Um, you know, I will work on it just a little bit every week, just so I can show my friend at work. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you wanna see more from me or if you wanna follow up and see how this worked up, you can hit that subscribe and ring the bell and it'll let you know when I upload more videos. You guys have a great day. Take care, keep diamond painting.